It's another travel day and we say goodbye to the canopy by Hilton Hotel and we're heading out to uh, the airport here at Charles de Gaulle for our trip to Rome today and five nights in the magnificent capital of Italy. I thought this trip would take the uh, best part of an hour and it's going to take no more than 30 minutes. Today we're flying Air France out of Terminal 2F and it's a direct flight to Rome. And if you're travelling business class in 2F, Air France has its very own priority business class check-in area which looks very nice. Row 4 for us today, too far back for Kim. The boarding is expected at 1.35 at the gate to F21. Hello. This is very impressive. Well, the cake looks great, but it's got no real flavour, so I'm not sure it's worth the calories ingesting. Our flight was due to go at 10 past 2, now it's going at 10 to 3, so that gives us a little bit more time to enjoy the French champagne. There's some red wine, lovely quiche. There's a small bar over here. Lots of sweet treats, various savoury options, a couple of hot dishes here, and beer and soft drinks over here in this fridge. I love this area, it's really nice and bright, very impressive. Thank you, enjoy your flight. Welcome to Air France's business class on a two hour flight, it's 3-3. Uh, with the middle seat blocked out. Lovely leather seats, but economy legroom. 24 business class passengers and probably, I'm guessing, 150 plus economy on an A320 aircraft. Once everybody's safely seated, they hand out these little fresh towelettes. I've just had an excellent lunch on board this Air France flight. Salmon with what was, I think, some pumpkin mash and what was that, ink rice? Squid ink rice. It was a cold dish. It was fantastic. And then there were some nice cheeses and a very heavy chocolate fondant. They had some French champagne, which was delightful. And to top it off, something I don't normally do, I had a cognac at the recommendation of one of the cabin crew here. This is a one hour, 40 minute flight and we get a meal like that and I'll park back and compare it to one of my one hour, 30 minute flights in the US where for dinner in business class, I got one packet of crisps. There is no comparison. We've just touched down in Rome, a little behind schedule, but on a nice day, it looks very dry. This is a really nice airport. I was here a few weeks ago, of course, I did my video can I see the top 20 attractions in Rome in a day? And you can get online and see that video. We're gonna grab our three bags and then grab a cab into town. I don't think we'll need to eat. That was a pretty good meal. Did you enjoy that meal, Ton? I did. At the moment, you can see an ad behind me for Qantas, and that's because today is the very first day they started their Perth, Rome, direct service. Must be about 16 or 17 hours direct. Comes out of my home city, lands in this one. Free trolleys, gotta love free trolleys. Quite a warm day in Rome, I don't need a long sleeve shirt on. There's an orderly taxi rank here and I understand it's probably 48 euros. Fixed fee to the centre of the city, much the same as it was in Orly. It was 37 and um, a little over 50 from Charles de Gaulle into Paris. And that's good because you don't have to deal with rogue taxi operators. There is much confusion over which of these taxis, if any, are ours. We started at 70 euros for the transfer now we're back down to 50 which we're happy with and it's probably going to take I'm guessing 50 minutes maybe. We've arrived at the Hotel Indigo here in Rome and um, insides are nice and the room's nice but I'm not sure about the area out the front there looks pretty ordinary so we're just debating do we stay here for the five nights or do we go elsewhere? That's the Hotel Indigo which we book five nights at and after checking in last night and staying one night. But I think the NH Collection Hotel will be a better choice. So we've booked a uh, Uber and shortly the driver will arrive and we'll spirit ourselves over to this next property. And this is the NH Collection, which is uh, very near that most magnificent building, which you would have seen in my Can I See Rome's Top 20 Attractions in a Day video. Well, this is our new room here at the NH Collection, really trendy and modern and uh, has a nice view out here through to Vittoriano and Piazza Venezia. 
five days on, we're now heading back to Rome's airport to go to London, to Heathrow to be exact, where I'm told we could be in for a long delay getting out of the airport. Hopefully, that's not the case. I'm gonna share with you though, taxis have been far cheaper than Ubers, sometimes half or a third the price. So with that said, that's our taxi. It's going to the airport and so are we. Today we're flying an eight month old airline. This is Eta. Well, it's actually probably older than that because it's really just a reincarnation of Alitalia. Flying Eta business means you get the fast track access through security and that saves you some minutes, I'd suggest, on that big queue over here. Some competition for Valtteri Bottas's Oath Gin here. Bit of a bonus there for Australians and a number of other nationalities where you can actually swipe through with your passport on the machine. Saves a little bit of time, but you still get a stamp in your passport. If you're a Johnny Walker drinker, you'll pay exactly the same price at this duty free as the other one, but this one is when you're leaving the EU. So it's the same price whether you leave the EU or whether you remain in the EU. Welcome to the Eta Airways Lounge. Quite like it, it's cool, thankfully. It's a different lounge than I was at a couple of flights ago. I went to the Plaza Lounge, which was also nice, but the food looks good, and uh, you simply ask the young lady to serve it for you and stand behind this red rope. Now, I had wanted to take one particular photo in Rome, and I did it. This is the photo I took. So how did I shoot this? I used a 70 to 200 mil lens. I zoomed into 200 mil. I turned my lens portrait, took seven shots, all on manual focus, all on manual setting, so they were exactly the same. And then in Lightroom, I pressed one button, and it automatically combines them to make this large panoramic shot, which you can buy right now at ProStarPix.com if you type in Rome Skyline. This is a very calm airport. And if you're an avid smoker like so many Italians are, you love the smoking lounge right next to the departure gate. Kim. That's Kim. Me. That is Kim. Kim. Thank you. Today we're on an Alitalia plane, not an ETA branded aircraft, but over time all the Alitalia branding will go. Today we're flying an Airbus A319. This, unlike the other day's flight, has much better legroom. Three seats either side of the aisle, although the middle seat on this aircraft features a fold down table bit. As suspected, no in seat power, no entertainment. I imagine this will be just shy of two hours from Rome to London Heathrow. There's 20 people in business class and I'm guessing 125 plus in economy. How will the Italian catering stack up to the French catering, which on the flight here was sensational. Lunch has arrived and it is a tortellini. The salad was good, bread roll was a bit dry and if you like marzipan you'll love this little amaretti treat. Well, that was the most amazing entrance into a country. Just swiping my passport at the electronic gates, a minute at the most, and no six hour delays, the likes of which were being reported last week coming into the UK. And our bags were out in 12 minutes, so it's out through immigration and into the wider community. We're picking up the hire car means a train to Terminal 2 and then a bus to the Holiday Inn to collect the car. Well, it's taken a while, but we've finally managed to find the place we're picking up this car. It's called Green Motion, although they're missing an N off the logo. No idea what they're like, we'll find out shortly. 80 minutes from Heathrow and I'm at the Moxie Hotel here in the heart of Milton Keynes. As you know, I stay at a lot of hotels during the year, but this is one of my favorites, just for its warmth and personality and the quirkiness of it. I can tell you that this hotel is a breath of fresh air in Milton Keynes. And look at this, I can have a shower sitting down. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, become a member. All my digital images at ProStarPix.com, F1 photo books, merchandise and wall art at KimIllman.com and for my best images live from the track and all during the week, you'll find them on Instagram at Kim Illman. Thanks for watching. And stay passionate. Oh, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, yeah. no, I'm under pressure. Uh, so, uh, hang on. Uh, well, good to have you here. Welcome to the Moxie Milton Kins. Thank you very much for choosing us. And please do come back and have a nice welcome complimentary cocktail on us. That's basically every single one 
our customers comes into the hotel, then we'll turn to get complimentary welcome cocktail from Moxie and Milton Kings. You so can thank talk. you very much, everybody. <laughs> Happy days. He can talk, can he? Cheers, everybody.